Okay, hello and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. So in this episode, we're going to be going through the loot that we got out of the last vault and running another one. Which we should think of it. Probably get. All rock steady. Oh, that's pretty simple. We'll be able to get that right away after I eat, our, eat up our hamburger. Let's eat these guys up. See as close as we can to level 22. Now, this is the stuff we got in the vault. Level 20 magnet, level 20 vault leggings, level 20 sword, six mystery boxes, and eight relic booster packs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my pickup upgrades for these guys. What we're going to do is we are going to get this guy right into our inventory. We ended up getting some chipped jewels. They all chipped? Yes, they are. Surely. I'm not a fan of chip jewels, unfortunately. I would prefer more flawed or flawless jewels, but you know, it's okay. I don't fully know what the use of chipped jewels are. Uh, if there is one, tell me in the comments, because I really don't know. And I find it to be a little bit absurd, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, unless there's a kind of jewel at the vault. I'll, I'll look through it, but I don't I don't think there's a way to, to utilize them. But they should definitely make one, because right now, kind of useless unless you're able to, like, recycle them somehow. But anywho, after I find a good place... Actually, we'll just make ourselves some living and gilded chests with, uh, with some driftwood. And there we go, and there we go, perfect. Now we got some more chests to work with. These are all going to house chip jewels, I guess, so why not? Chip jewel, perfect. Anywho, now then, let's go through the mystery boxes and booster packs. So, booster packs first. We ended up getting two, which is the sword handle and pickaxe tool, which are okay. I'm going to start putting the relic fragments into here, though, because we are starting to get quite a few of them. And I just want to make sure that they're not getting, uh, you know, put where they don't belong or I don't lose them. So we'll just, they're in blue circle box right now. Then, of course, bronze can go, actually, bronze is going to go into here where we store it for now. And mystery boxes, which we'll roll. Diamonds and Laramars, roll some emeralds, nothing too great, unfortunately. But, you know, it is what it is. And then we got ourselves some common stuff to roll and then some uncommon or un first we got some scrappy stuff to roll then some common stuff to roll i keep forgetting it's not uh common uncommon rare it's, it's, it's scrappy common rare epic but we got a rare coconut shield which is pretty nice same block chance, but overall worse than our current shield, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's a good replacement in case we'll need one. So I'll save it. Current magnet is pretty good. This one is a tiny bit worse, unfortunately. So, I mean, I guess we'll just scrap it entirely. No need for such a terrible vault magnet. But unfortunate, but that's how it is sometimes. And our current helmet is still way better, even though it is a level 3 Omega Vault helmet. Kind of crazy how Omega stuff is just so vastly superior. Anyway, current Epic is level 9 for our sword. Our current boots are rare, but they also have a legendary roll for damage, which is kind of insane. This one, not great. This one, not great. I mean, good armor, but nothing else is really what I would like right now. Durability, maybe. We'll, we'll keep these guys after I fill out the uh, suffix. Trap disarm chance, that's even worse. Honestly, I'll reroll them entirely. 17 mana, plus 1 armor. Increased damage, plus 3 armor. 10 armor total, plus item quantity. Okay, well, we'll keep those just in case. I don't know. We're just not getting lucky with these rolls. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just saddening, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get the vault crystal ready and uh, let's run this thing. Why don't we?
Okay, so we got the Vault Crystal completed. Let's get you out of here. Five minutes in, and we're about to run our first vault of this episode. Probably our final vault of this episode, depending on how long this goes. Elixir Rush, because we are going to focus on this bounty, which is Gather Elixir. We get some common pants for it. And, yeah, pretty dope overall. Ground hide, that's going to be another scavenger one. Okay, well, time to gather ourselves up some elixir. And as I'm going into this vault, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite part of the video, because I do really appreciate it, or if you have any ideas, things that I should do. So, plentiful bonus living. Uh, opulent. Okay. Opulent is item quantity. That's pretty good rolls overall, I do. I would say. I don't fully know what the rolls can be. But we're going to do these first couple rooms uh, recorded, and then you guys know the gist of how all these vaults work. I, I'm just going to roll with it go as fast as I possibly can, see how much loot we get, and then we'll go through the loot at the end of this video because, again, I don't want to save it for the next episode like I did with the last one because uh, this is the final episode coming out today. And I don't want to leave something for tomorrow. Anywho, turn this guy back on so that everything goes in there where it belongs. Take care of you guys. Perfect. They'll give us lots of elixir as well, which is great. There's a lodestone in this first room, which is fabulous. That is the level 2 skeleton, by the way. And now, we'll just continue to loot. So, it's the opening of the chest, which actually matters to giving you the XP and other items, which is quite ingenious. And I quite like that. But it does mean that if you don't properly, um, like, open stuff, then it won't count and it won't give you the XP for it, which is unfortunate. You gotta make sure that you fully go through the animation, because if you cancel out too early, it doesn't count. As well as that's what also gives you elixirs. So you gotta make sure to open as many as you possibly can. Get the elixir. Get everything you need to from it. And then... Go out. I would recommend looting pretty much everything from any vault that is going to be at level 20 and below. Because that's what you'll use to kind of snowball your way into later vaults. I know I'm saying that at level 21, but this is not my first playthrough. I've played probably more than most people in this mod pack, and so I would say that I have a fair bit of experience, even though it's a, that is on different versions. I don't know a whole ton about this version and the changes that were made, but I do know quite a bit about how the pack works in general, just what you should do, and so for anything like this, you want to make sure to snowball as best you can, just in order to, you know, keep a good lead on your friends, if you're playing this mod pack with your friends, or if you're playing it alone, also there's a dungeon down here that we're going to check out, because dungeons typically have pretty good loot, and chests, so that seems like a new spawn. So we should have time after I kill you guys. Break this guy. Which we don't, unfortunately. I don't know why we didn't. But you know, it's all good. Please don't activate thorns. You guys are really annoying. So I'm gonna kill those guys. It's going to poison the area right around it, which is going to actually poison me, unfortunately. Oh, is there a second spawner? There's a second spawner. But at least we are almost to- oh, oh god. Okay, well, we're gonna leave now, because we've gotten the XP we needed. Vindicators give a lot of XP as well. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave. Don't don't overstay your luck. Um, very important in this mod pack to sort of leave when you're ahead. Also, geez, I'm bad at Minecrafting. I just have not been keeping up when it comes to brain. Uh, I'm just tired because uh, it, it's been a long week for me. 
recording and working and all that stuff. So yeah. But you know, it's all good. We're going to just be heading right into this next room. 20 minutes left on the clock. There's a lodestone in here as well. And I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give up this vault and just go quick. And just leave now. But at the same time, I really don't want to. Also, geez, I, I, I don't know what's going on with me today. I'm just bad. But, anywho, there's a lodestone in here. This this room doesn't seem super sensitive to good looting. So there's a, a way down over here. No, there's not. So this room, not conducive to good looting. We're just gonna head straight along. I know I'm, I'm talking like I'm an expert in this, because I, I kind of am. But at the same time, I don't have a lot of experience in uh, some of these new formatted areas. So, trust me with a grain of salt. Anywho. After we finish, oh perfect, got ourselves some more ores. Make sure that you get all of the gems you can early on, because they, like, any, any gems you find, find them. Find them right away. They are worth it, 110%, all the time, every time. They are worth your time to mine. Even if it's only one or two, even if it's just Laramar, you will need a ton of Laramar. Trust me. You will need way more than you think you do. And you will end up using all of it eventually because there are some late game items that take an absolute ton of Laramar. Anyway, let's check out upstairs. And if I mine some more ores, we might be able to fill up the bar all the way. So, perfect. We got them. Consume a lodestone. You know, I'm going to be looting for a little bit longer. But usually I would say, don't greed. It's not worth your time. The greed but take your time and loot carefully, because the more careful you loot, and the more loot you come away with early on, the better it is for your entire vault vaulting career. This is coming from someone who... Uh, I've lost, I think, three, four sets total in my entire vault hunting career. Like, died and lost stuff, just because I play very safe. <laughs> But safe in a, I, I would say, entertaining way as well as I, I push the limits of the mod pack. I try new things. I find bugs. Um, I do want to check if some bugs work, so I will make a video on that soon. I don't know if I should, though, because I don't really want to use a bunch of duping glitches and stuff for this. But, of course, you know... It'll be okay, I think, maybe. Also, that is our uh, chromatic steel thing. Our chromatic iron one completely broken. So now we're on our chromatic steel matic, which is okay, I guess. But unfortunate. Now, we do have 16 minutes left, which means we can go loot some more. But what I will say is that I do not advise... Straying too far away from a lodestone, as well as making sure to mark your path or use a compass. The vault compass is a great tool that I have not unlocked yet. I will be unlocking it soon. In fact, I might use our current knowledge essence on it. Oh, an upgraded one with a bow. Also, uh, ranged, ranged targets are always top priority, especially when it's the guardians. Uh, because the bruisers will hurt you, but guardians, or the the bruisers will hurt you, but the uh, the ranged ones, the ballist, the arbalists, will hurt more overall, because they will do damage to you every time. 
even when you're dealing with the other guys. So just make sure to deal with the arbalists first. As you can see, we got poison. I just had a sneezing fit. That was great. Um, hopefully you guys didn't hear all of that. Um, but yeah, I just sneezed all over my monitor. Great, you'll let me see it. Also, make sure to monitor your health at all times. Uh, health and mana. Very important stats. You want to make sure that your health is as full as it can be, as well as your mana. Um, and so, by balancing those out, make sure that you have a good heal balance. And making sure that you're consistently staying as close to full as you possibly can. There are things in this mod pack that might almost instantly kill you. Sure. I mean, it's rare, but you can fall, activate a trap, you could get stuck in a dungeon, you could fall into a dungeon. There's a lot of things that could happen. Well, it's anything could happen, in fact, and you just gotta be prepared for it. Also, from what I'm noticing, the chest looting, um, like the, the common chests don't seem to be giving super good loot anymore. Like, the loot isn't scaling much anymore past level 20. So, I don't know if that's going to change at some point. But it doesn't seem to be scaling anymore. So, I will have to check some things just to make sure... That's supposed to be like that? Yeah. Still, I, I don't know when you unlock key pieces. When... When is key? When... When key? Blank key. Key piece. Gilded... Strongbox. Gilded chest. At... Level 11. Or level 50 plus for strong boxes. Okay. So we've just gotten really unlucky with the key pieces then. We haven't gotten one yet. And at this point, I'm thinking that it might be quicker to just simply go through like this for the common chests. Make sure to, make sure to take the uh, essences and such and the better stuff that we actually will need but leaving it uh, stuff so I would recommend making sure that you know what the good stuff looks like and targeting what you need because uh, after level 20 things don't seem to scale very well unfortunate anywho Come over here, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Ooh, tiny pearl. Apple. Wood chest scroll. Perfect. And we'll we'll just consume the lodestone now, why don't we? Um no real reason not to. Nine seconds left. Having some of our scaffolding and bounty complete 10k xp from the vaults we'll put you down here we'll put you here you will yoink your bed <laughs> and then we will escape out of the bed we will do this we will activate speed one so now we're even faster, which is perfect for looting vaults. Come over here, we'll claim the bounty. Put you down. Anything special from the vault that we should go through? We got some cheese, which is nice. So we'll craft up a burger with that here. Cheeseburger and regular hamburger. Pretty good. Um, also, just some normal vanilla resources that probably shouldn't be into that. But, you know. They are, cause I don't, I don't know. Anywho, we got our vault gems. Good amount of Laramar. Again, you'll you'll get a ton of Laramar. 
very helpful. Okay. Cheeseburger, hamburgers, and let's see, anything special? I got some of those guys. Nothing. Got uh, uh, two Laramar from that guy. Got a Tenos Blessing as well. Not a whole ton extra. Just, just some normal basic stuff. Wooden chest scroll. And now to check out what we got in the actual crates for this guy. A U and U. So we got a total of one, two, three, four pieces of vault gear. Four chip jewels, of which I will never never be using any of them because chip jewels suck. We got ourselves some vault bronze. It's not gonna go into there, it's gonna go into here. Some chromatic iron. Some vault diamonds, some vault silver, single black opal, and more relic booster packs. So let's open these guys up. Nothing again. We'll roll the vault sword. And then we'll check out the rest of the stuff. And it is a scrappy with good attack, bad attack. Okay, well, we're gonna talk that, chuck that guy away. And we'll roll all these guys at once because it's just quicker that way. So let's see. And while we're doing that, we might as well activate Vault Compass. If I can find out where it is, Vault Compass, there we go. Vault Compass, uh, Compass. We ended up getting three commons. Current ones, just better. Current ones, still better. And the sword is pretty trash, considering. I mean, good Dura roll. Terrible, shocking hit in Dura rolls on the uh re on the suffixes so we'll just chuck those guys no, no real need for them and vault compass time so vault compass or netherite a compass which is a okay. well, well we'll get that ready for next episode and for now thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy if you did make sure to like comment subscribe and all that stuff and i will see you guys next time ggs peace See ya.